Oh, yes. Very careful this time, Victor. No more miscalculations. A success today could bring back everything you've worked for. Josie, do you remember the speech you gave me the first time we met? No. About molecules being made up of atoms, blah, blah, blah. Then you said that science teachers were less complex than chewing gum. I was so young, and what I said was once you start dealing with atoms, all the rules go out the window. Well, the rules went out long ago. Anybody have a hypothesis on the school disappearing? Oh. Sucked into the black hole. Sure, pick the obvious one. But then you have to ask, why now? Why not now? Anyone else? Maybe the school was turned invisible, the way Marshall was before. It's here, but no one can see it. What else is there? Wait, you know what? I'm thinking sound waves. If Lucas's dish is from Paradigm, what if it's picking up waves from a Paradigm satellite? Paradigm did have satellites. And what if that satellite not only transmitted radio waves, but other kinds of sound waves, too? Good, Corinne. Good. Listen. What you're hearing is energy moving the vibrating molecules. When they collide into one another, they carry sound on waves. When the vibration slows down, the sound dissipates. But could that make a school disappear? What about the sounds you can't hear? Ultrasound. They use them in medicine to break apart kidney stones. Oh, yeah. My Uncle Jeff had that done. Yeah, they, did, they didn't even have to cut them open. They just stuck them in water and then aimed the ultrasound and kapow! The kidney stone was blasted apart. So, if this satellite transmitted a super ultrasound and the vibration level was way big, the molecules would have been scattered to who knows where. Hey, guys, I got something. Bringing you an important news flash at 5.07 this evening in what can only be described as incredible as the disappearance of Blake Holsey High, the school has reappeared. Yes! yes. All right. The health and welfare of the students and faculty are unknown at this time. No doubt this event will have huge scientific implications. They are immediately shutting down the school, and the government will claim ownership of the property. They're going to take away our school, and there's nothing we can do about it. What happened to the students? Well, what happened to the teachers? Both very good questions, but first, another question. Can we change the future? Hmm? Okay, well, you don't want to mess with the past, but the future... We change the future all the time. Yesterday, Lucas changed his future by cheating his friends. Now he doesn't have any. Good one, Josie. Now perhaps you could apply that quick wit to the job at hand. Any ideas on how to change our future? If no one finds out the school disappeared, then it's like it never disappeared. Then no one knows about here and we keep the school. Okay, I've got an idea. This is kind of ironic, but the same way I got kicked out of my last school might just save this one. I'm in. As long as I don't have to work with him. You know. Oh, hello, Principal Durst. Professor Zachary, is that you? Is this suit part of a lecture? Oh, my. I was afraid No, 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 no. Now, it's, it's not as bad as it looks. It'll all be over in a couple of hours. Well, what will be over? The leaking fumes. Turns your skin green. Is this really fading yet? Hi, Principal Durst. Want to come in and see something neat? Oh, oh, dear. Oh. I can't have green students. Oh, I'd better... I'd better call the authorities. No, 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 no. There's no need. It really is quite harmless. Uh, may I just suggest a minor evacuation? Say, for one hour, tops? Fine. Uh, but where will I take them? Um, I, I couldn't help but over here. What about my house? My dad will understand. He will? I, I mean, he will. I hope. Hey, uh, Dad, we messed up some experiment at school and the kids are turning green. Can I come home? Yes, uh, yeah, I promise I won't disturb your meeting. Oh, and can I also bring some non-green kids in and some teachers with me? Yeah, I, I promise we'll be quiet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, thanks. Thanks, Dad.
everyone's out of the school. You did a fine job. I'll call you when it's safe to return. I feel terrible about leaving the green kids here. You've done enough. And I'll be right here to look after them. Oh, th this is normal, right? There is nothing wrong at Blake Holsey. Of course not. Corinne and I will go stop the news van. You stay here. Make sure no one goes in there. There's no telling what could happen when the school disappears. Okay? Let's go. 4.58. Two minutes to go. Fifteen years ago, Paradigm Labs suffered an accident of monumental proportions. A dish that receives the Paradigm satellite feed was destroyed in the resulting explosion. Until I built a new dish, we were unable to communicate with the satellite. Gentlemen, all that has changed. Not that it's any of my concern, but have you seen Lucas? Last time I saw him, he was in his room. Figures he'd be the last one out. Hey, wait a minute, his clock is slow. 4.59, I got one minute left. Marshall, wait, the school! You don't know what's gonna happen! I can't just leave him in there. He's my friend. In just under a minute, our satellite will send out an ultrasonic wave that will be transmitted through this dish, then directed to my Excellence in Science Award. Gentlemen, for a five-minute duration, that award will disappear. Hey, Dad, I'm home. Uh, me and my friends are just... On. I'm busy. Go play with your friends someplace else. Kids. Gentlemen, to continue. Lucas? You have to get out of here. Go help somebody who cares. All right, look, could you just forget for a moment that you're mad at me and remember that your clock is five minutes slow? Oh, boy. Oh, boy is right. This place is going to go any second. No, this way. Marsha! Um, have you seen Corinne or Z? Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, private property. But I hear there's a two-headed chicken down the road. With this impending success, we herald the triumphant return of Paradigm Laboratories. <laughs> Three, two, one. Dad, how'd you do that? Gentlemen, you'll excuse me. Vaughn, you shouldn't have come in here. You must tell no one what you saw here today. No one. I won't, Dad, I promise. I just came in here to see if it was all right to order two dozen pizzas. Pizza? Fine. Amazing. Good work, guys. The school's ours. <laughs> hey, Marshall. You see, I just wanted to say thanks. There's no telling what could have happened to me if I was in there when it disappeared. You risked your life for me. Hey, you would have done the same for me, right? <laughs> hey, even if we're mad at each other, we're still best friends. That was really stupid of me. You don't cheat your friends. Yeah, yeah, that was really stupid. But hey, I mean, they're your friends, right? They'll forgive you. In a month or two, right? 
Maybe three. Yeah, you should think about getting your clock fixed. We interrupt this program with an emergency bulletin. Blake Holsey Preparatory Academy has disappeared along with all its students. This mysterious accident occurred at 7.58 a.m. 7.58? 7.57! Marshall! 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 Blake Holsey High's Science Club, all seniors, announced to the world the discovery of a...